Sonny. In the den. Find anything? Yeah, one uh, one place looked okay. It was on Route 22, next to a plumbing distributorship. They have trucks moving in and out all the time, so our traffic wouldn't seem unusual. From the outside, the place looks like the same warehouse. Anyone watching couldn't tell our shipment from theirs. What about employees? 26. Eight on the night shift, and it's an out-of-town owner, if that helps. Ouch. They hurt? You okay? Yeah, only when I... I forget they're there and I moved too fast. Doctor said that it was a bruised rib and I tore something like I couldn't have told him that myself without having to wait in the ER for six hours. But Mike had to be sure. Well, he's worried about you. Like I said, he was the one who made me tell how to find you. I guess that means he saved your life. Mike thinks so. He hasn't left me alone since. He took care of me yesterday till I had to throw him out. There was so much food in my kitchen that I'm not gonna eat, which he charged to my account without asking thank you. And now he, he wants to come over tonight and cook for me again. You gonna let him? Oh, man. There's something I learned in that cave. Mike doesn't bother me as much as I say he does. I know. I mean, I'm not saying he, he's my favorite person, God knows man's incapable of minding his own business. Yesterday, he goes in on my problems for about three to four hours. Then he starts in on you. Well, I don't, I don't have any problems. Oh, uh, ask Mike. He thinks if Keisha wants to see you, that means that you're in trouble and I should help you. And I should have given you more than just pass on the message. It was, it was no big deal. She's just upset that AJ's drinking again. Is it bad? I guess, yeah. He was, uh, he was hiding in the boathouse. And what? Keisha thinks you, you should have stopped him? How'd you know? Well, I mean, she loves him. She has to believe in a miracle cure, even if the cure is you. You gotta understand something about alcoholics. Or any addicts. They gotta quit on their own. You can't. You can't help them stop. You see, that's that's what I told Keisha. The same thing. When, not not about alcoholics, but AJ. It's not gonna do me any good to see him. But she kept asking. I mean, most of the stuff AJ said didn't make any sense. Except he likes to drink. And he feels guilty about the accident, which I already know. Why would AJ feel? Guilty. He was driving. AJ was driving the night you got hurt. Yeah. I thought it was Ned. I didn't. I didn't. I didn't think it mattered. Well, I'm not saying it, it matters. I'm just. I thought maybe you. You'd have uh, mentioned it. Well, I didn't. I didn't think it was important. Except if the Quartermains ever try to force you out of ELQ, I will threaten to go to the police. I'm sure they'd do a lot to keep AJ out of jail. You'd blackmail them for me? Sure. You might have to one day. Thanks. That's no problem. Anyway, Keisha had just found out, and she acted like it was this big deal, so I just thought I should let you know, too. It's really not that important to you. Yeah, you know, if AJ was driving instead of Ned, who cares? Except AJ, he misses his brother. Which I understand better now. Because if you would have died, I would have missed you. I didn't. And, uh, what I said before, you know, it wasn't just Mike. You got us out. No. If it was just me, you'd be dead. Before, before Jax heard you and Brenda yelling, they were going to dig towards you from the tunnel entrance. Now, the rescue guy needed to know 
where to go inside. So Mac told me to draw a map. I couldn't. Sonny, I couldn't. I could see the inside of the cave clear in my head, but I couldn't. I, I don't know. I couldn't make it go flat. I couldn't put it on paper. So you showed him where to dig instead. Mike told me you paced off the whole area. Hey, if you ask me, it's harder to tell where you are from the surface than it is to draw a map. Now, the point is, if Mike knew the caves, he could have done both. See, the most of the time, I don't, I don't even think about being brain damaged. Stuff I don't know, I can ask you, I can ask Robin, or I could look it up. A little kid can draw a map, but I can't. Maybe that's what everything else costs. Remember what I told you? What you do, you pay for. Or maybe what you get, you pay for too. You want power, you take chances. You want love, you get your heart stomped on. Nothing is free. But that accident gave you a lot. First of all, you clear the quarter mains. You can tell if somebody's lying, which I tell you right now, I have never met a person who can do that. What did it cost you? You can't draw a little stupid map. It's like you keep telling me what happened, happened. It doesn't make you less of a person. It just makes you different, Jason. I mean, hell, Jax could probably draw the, the greatest map in the world, but I don't want him working for me. Why not? He rescued you. Save it. I, 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 Mike lectured me enough about being nice to Jax. Speaking of Mike, can we, can we just get out of here before he shows up and wants to take care of me? And you know what? Why don't you have dinner with us? Because the, the last thing I want is to hear four, five hours of advice. How many employees did you see that place had? 26. Eight on the night shift? Yeah. What do we know about the business? And he says it's clean, never even had a citation. Next door to a plumbing supplier is as inconspicuous as it gets. Mm -hmm. uh, when are you going to meet with... Uh, Good shot. Thanks. When are you going to meet with uh, Benny this afternoon? Yeah, he's sending me on a pickup. McGirt's late. Oh, okay. Well, that's the second time this year. Do me a favor. When you finish, I want to know how much money he's still losing. All right, okay. Do not pick on that. They itch, man. Oh, well, you shouldn't pick on it. The nurse said she didn't think there'd be any scars. Robin would be happy about that. Ow. Have you talked to her? Yeah. Yesterday. What'd you say? I said that you and Brenda were all right. I am. Brenda, I'm not so sure about. Remember in the ER, um, Jax told the doctor she was on medication? Yeah. Well, she's hooked. She's an addict. You should have seen Brenda in the cave. She must have taken her coat off and on about 700 times. She went one minute, she was freezing. The next, she was hot. I mean, she, she kept getting sick. And the only thing I could do was hold her when she would let me and, and hope that she would get tired and fall asleep. Well, she looked okay when they brought her into ER. Well, she was uh, through the worst of the physical withdrawal by then. But I knew how bad she wanted. And I'll tell you something, she'll, she'll be back on her by the end of the week if nobody stops her. How, how can they help? You said the addict's the only one who can quit. Yeah, but I didn't mean that they have to do it alone. They could ask for help. But Brenda won't. Why? Because she's ashamed. She said it over and over and over again. <sighs> you know, I, I still don't get how it happened. I mean, who would want to take pills if they didn't have to? You know, at the hospital, they gave them to me all the time. I would just wait till the nurse left, spit them out. Why? I don't know. I didn't like them. Sometimes they help. I mean, I, I... At least I used to think so before Carrie. Karen Wexler. 
Jagger's wife. Did Gina tell you about her? Nah, just her name. And that Jason Quartermain used to date her. I never thought of that before. Carrie was in a bad way when I met her. She had been sexually abused as a child. Her life was falling apart. She was in school and she couldn't handle it. She was with a boyfriend who she was afraid to be with. So I, uh, I put her on the stage at the Paradise Lounge and she was good. So I hired her as a stripper and I ended up sleeping with her. Some people consider that the lowest crime I ever committed. Why? Because her, her head wasn't on straight and I guess I took advantage of her. I gave her pills, but I tell you, I, I swear to you, I thought she could handle them. She couldn't sleep, I, I'd give her a pill to relax. She'd go to school, I'd give her a pill to stay awake. But as soon as I knew she was hooked, I cut her off and then Jagger came into the picture. Next thing I knew, she was in rehab. And everybody thought it was my fault. Was it? When I owned the Paradise, a lot of the dancers took pills. Probably abused them, but I didn't care because it wasn't my problem. But hard drugs were different. If I ever caught a girl shooting up, she'd be on the street. Why? Because like I always tell you, hard drugs are messy. They're too fast, too much money, and they bring in the wrong crowd, especially cops. And if it goes wrong, you do federal time. But see, I never, I never thought pills were that dangerous until Carrie, and you know, now I see what Brenda's going through. You didn't it. give Brenda the pills, Sonny. Yeah, well, I didn't let girls dance who shoot dope. I didn't let them dance in my club, but it didn't stop Stone from getting AIDS. Stone took drugs? <sighs> no, his, uh, his girlfriend did. I gave her a job and when she didn't get clean, I fired her, but by that time, he had already slept with her. That's how I got it? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Stone died by inches, Jason, because of something I ignored. I didn't care. As long as people did not shoot up or deal in my club, that was fine, but I should have cared. Heroin kills. Whether it stops your breathing, whether, whether whether it wrecks your life, whether it makes you feel so desperate that you gotta, you, gotta, you gotta share a needle and get HIV, it destroys. That's why we don't move drugs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Profiting off human misery is not just bad, it's a mortal sin. Well, if people want to do something, why are you so obligated to stop them? If they want to live or die, why don't they just do what they decide? Because, Jason, people who take heroin for the first time, they don't plan to die. So it's not their choice. Stone's girlfriend gave Robin HIV without ever meeting her. Now, Stone can say it's not her fault. God rest his soul. But it was not an act of God, it did not just happen. The drugs are to blame, that's why I want them gone. At least from the city, do you understand? As soon as Harry's partner moves, we've got him. We'd better. Come here. Robin, I want Brenda to tell it on her own. Okay. Do me a favor. Go to uh, Brenda's penthouse, okay? See if her car is there. Don't go up to the penthouse, because I, I just want, don't, just ask around. All right. And I want to see if the, yeah, huh? Got it. 
Am I, am I being an idiot? Look, like, Sonny, you care about Brendan, you're worried. How can, how can you be dumb for that? All right, I should get going. If I'm gonna stop at the hotel before the office, I'll call you as soon as I make the pickup. All right, uh, tell Benny to do a, a, a title search on the warehouse, and I'll make my decision um, tomorrow. And uh, could you come back here for dinner? I am not gonna have dinner with Mike alone. Okay. And one last thing before you. Uh... <laughs> Thanks. I didn't do anything. <laughs> <laughs>